right you lot, welcome back. Today's sketchbook page actually surprised me with how much fun it turned out to be. It was a real practice in just letting loose and experimenting with painting techniques. So I started out by masking off a few boxes on the page. I used regular tape that I stuck on the back of my hand to take some of the stickiness away and then thin washi tape which peels up really easily anyway. Oh and before we go on, quick update on the unfinished shape challenge sketchbook page. Thanks for all your suggestions, I ended up with so many great ideas that I wanted to try. Um, I decided to go for a dinosaur head and I think it worked really well. So back to these paintings, as you saw at the beginning I just mixed up five colours, five, six colours that I decided to use throughout. Um, I searched colour scheme on Pinterest and just picked a selection that I liked really well. Uh, this dusty pink, a lovely dark blue, a sort of chalky green colour, basic beige and then a muted burgundy and then I just started painting. I didn't want to think too much about it, I kind of had in mind that I could take inspiration from flowers and nature, so this first one obviously re resembles a flower quite a bit, I think. And for this one I was looking at swirling wet paint in wet paint. Um, this is a really great way to experiment with a medium in a way that's going to produce hopefully a nice piece of art and maybe give you ideas for backgrounds or colour schemes or paint techniques that you can implement into your work. And it's also something that I don't think you can ever get too carried away with. I go from one to another quite quickly because I don't want to stop and think at all. I want it to be really natural and just free and just let it take me wherever. Um, with this one I was looking at layering paint, a bit of practice with negative space and again I think there's a heavy theme of plants and nature. This page was one of the most fun ones so far in this series, it's something I know I'm going to do a lot more from now on. Just a great way to create some art with no pressure. If you find that art is getting a bit stressful, sometimes it does for me, and you know you miss that feeling of just creating for the sake of it and really getting lost in it, losing track of time. This is a great way to feel like that. I was listening to a really great podcast at the time called This American Life and it was telling the story of this old couple unexpectedly finding love in a retirement home and the sun was shining and I just felt really content and the more I painted the more I wanted to paint. Okay for this next one it took me a second to realise that I was painting out of shot. This one I guess you could say was about shapes and lines. I really didn't approach this with any rhyme or reason, I would just kind of get an idea from the previous one and think I want to try that but a little bit differently in the next one. So painting like the reeds and branches in the previous one made me want to see what some more shape oriented lines would look like. These look like poppies to me, um, or they're giving me a poppy vibe anyway. And I think this one has more of a pop art feel, so it kind of works. Okay, so up next was like a really wet on wet one. I was hoping the paint would really spread out in blobs, but I think I'm just used to doing this with ink um, with much more impressive results. Still, that's what experimentation is all about. Um, then I did a bit of spraying dark paint over the top for that paint splatter look. And using the really bristly brush then made me want to do a bristly stripy dry brush painting so that's what I did next. It feels great when one idea leads to another. I usually have to really force ideas, everything's very considered, but the more you let go and create for the sake of creating the easier I think that comes to you. It's just important to find a balance between the serious side of art where you're practicing and studying and the fun side. I mentioned a while ago that I'd work on a video about improving your art, being self-taught, and that's coming soon, and I talk a bit more about the balance of work and play in that. So that'll be up within the next week or so, and hopefully it'll help some people who are struggling to see an improvement in their work or don't know what direction to take. Okay, and for the final painting, this is where my inspiration was kind of running out, but I ended up liking what I did in the end. I basically just put the paintbrush down, started making marks on the paper and let it go from there. And if you're ever at all stuck with your creativity, that's a great place to start. Just make marks on paper. Right, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon for the next one. Love you guys. Bye.